uh, Pino here. We're back. This is Scott Jordan. You're watching live at Cellars of Sonoma in beautiful Railroad Square. We're tasting Pinot Noir tonight, and we've got Amorosa Bella. Uh, this is her uh, 2009 uh, retail price, 30 bucks. You gotta love that. Great, great price point. Um, beautiful fruit. Beautiful color. Nice, nice, nose. right? Nice nose. Good finish. Classic um, Russian River Pinot right? Noir. All day long. Are we back? Are you, was that just you or is that? Oh, that video went off? Is it back up? Okay, go ahead. Fire away with another question. So, great question. Uh, the question is, at what point did you feel like you had to move to wine country? Funny, I, I actually wrote an article about that today. I um, <laughs> there's, a, there's an event going on in the Russian River, and I, you know, I said home is where the heart is, and eventually you make that. I I started working for a company in Petaluma about 12 years ago, and discovered Sonoma County and the Russian River Valley, and just completely fell in love with the area. I mean, I, I've been to wine country all over the world. There are many great places. They're all beautiful, but there's something special about the people, the place, mm -hmm. the terroir, the wines that come from here. Um. I was kind of in denial. I lived all around the Bay Area. I got transferred around, and about two years ago, I just said, that's it. So I came up. I made this my home about three months ago. I bought an acre and a half. I've got a farm, planting a vineyard, and this is it. I'm finally, the gypsy, has put, roots, like the gypsy has put roots down. <laughs> <laughs> that's From good, gypsy to farmer. <laughs> I mean, you know, yeah, you can go anywhere you want in the, in the country or in the world. It's hard to beat what Sonoma County has to offer. I mean, it, I mean you've got San Francisco, you know, within an hour. You've got the ocean within... 30, 40 minutes, wine country in 10 seconds, uh, Redwood Forest uh, right behind that. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't get, County. And it, it's pretty damn. And Sonoma County be. itself is incredibly diverse. People say, I'm coming to Sonoma. I'm like, that's, you know, 13 AVAs and a big, you know, a big stretch of territory. You need a couple of weeks to see it properly from, yeah, from yeah. end to end. And so. soon we're going to get the, uh, the mm. train that's going to come from Larkspur all the way up to Cloverdale. I'll tell you what, those of you from other parts of the country, you'll be able to literally take a ferry over to the ferry building in Larkspur, right. then get on the train and be in wine country. How bad is that? That's amazing. You can't do that anywhere. I don't care where you go. You can go anywhere uh, it's, you want. It's, to me, it's a phenomenal. You have a world-class city like San Francisco, yeah. just over an hour away, and you could be driving around. I mean, you go in the back roads of Russian River Valley, you think you were in the middle of nowhere, Yeah. you know, yeah. and then be in San Francisco watching a Giants game in an hour and a half. Yeah, you, know? you really could. You it's really pretty could. amazing. So this is uh, Dunaz. This is, uh, again, uh, San Giacomo Vineyard, very famous vineyard. Oh, very uh, different nose. That, that nose is just, you know, eucalyptus. It just jumps right out. Mm. Mm. Beautiful wow. finish. Winemaker here is Greg LaFollette. A little shout mm. out to Greg. Um, I first met Greg when I uh, ran Deloach Winery, and he was the winemaker for them and consultant. And uh, then when we brought Dana in, it was kind of interesting because we, I, I, we were literally on the tasting panel just tasting our wines because that's how we you know, yeah. determine if they want them in the room. And I spun the bottle around, and I saw his name. I go, oh, my God. I didn't I, realize. I mean, he's, yeah. a, he's a legend in Pinot Noir. Oh, I, I, so you just said that. I had, oh, yeah. And I've had this before. I had no yeah, idea. Yeah, he's a rock star. Another question. Okay. <laughs> oh. oh, no way. First of all, first of all, I've been here 33 years, so I've been to way more wineries than he has. But if you insist, that's pretty good yeah. stuff the, to get your own uh, tour guide. That's pretty that's, good. And I, actually, I did, a lot of people ask me for recommendations. I, and I visit a lot of the wineries. I write about a lot of them. And I'm always happy to, you know, what type of wines do you like? What are you looking for? Sure. Large, small. I spend a fair amount of time giving suggestions. It's, there's so many little tiny wineries here that, you know, I, I want to encourage people to branch out and try new things. Yeah. Which yeah. is really one of the big things I, I write about is, you know, okay. get out of the box. Seller mistress. Oh, yeah. oh. That's, uh, that's Grace. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Seller mi mistress. That's yeah. Grace Hoffman. Yeah. Yeah, of course. And Grace, uh, Grace has been here before. And uh, when are you coming back? By the way, you know it's only seventy 
five out right now. Yeah, maybe not quite that much, but it's nice. <laughs> it's a little warmer than her neck of the woods. That's right. <laughs> yes, and I was in Arizona yesterday, and ooh, boy, was it nice. She'll be back in July. In July. All right. All right. We have to make sure you contact us. Let us know in, in advance. Um, we'd love to hook you up. There's just some really cool places uh, that you just, you just don't see. Now. And I see new stuff all the time. It's wild. There are so many wineries that just keep popping Little up. Little ones. I'm, there's an event on Saturday with seven, and I'm going to one for the first time, two miles from my house. The Taste of Olivet Road. Oh, seven right. Seven wineries, yeah. So yes. uh, Tara Bella is a Cabernet producer. I've, you know, they're, they're look like a throw a rock and hit hit them, and I, I had never been before. So. Yeah, I love their I love their little mm. ad. Um, th that was a cute ad. I don't know if you saw the ad they have. Uh, in, I think it was in the PD, um, and and it was. Uh, you know, had the the shoes from yeah. Wizard of Oz. Doing the, the, the follow the yellow brick follow, road. Yeah. yeah, follow the Olivet Road. Well, you know, when we we worked and I ran uh, Deloach, we tried to put that exact thing together for the longest time. It was like herding cats. I couldn't get everybody on board, but they were ready to go. That, yeah. but those are some cool wineries. And, De and Deloach is part of this. Time. Yeah, Deloach is and Hook and Ladder, right? Hook and Ladder, Inman Family Winery, um, Harvest Moon. Harvest Moon is uh, Pellegrini in that. Pellegrini and Inspiration. Okay. And Tarabella. So oh, inspiration. Seven. Oh, John's going to open up his, his house over there? Well, he's, 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 he's having to put it over in his, in his new one at, at, uh, uh, at Coffee Lane. Oh, is that right? Because I'm the permit for the food, but, oh, but got he's still it. participating. Well, that's that's a cool event. Uh, tickets on that, uh, they can get that online. Online. Actually, I just put up a, I have a, actually have a blog article today with contests mm -hmm. for pair of tickets. If you, you go online and send comments. Uh, and Thursday night, we're also going to give away a pair of tickets. Oh, nice. Or you can buy them online for, uh, I think, $25 in advance. Oh, nice. Get club member benefits all day long, 20% off. Everybody's right. got food, wine, music. It's those gonna, are some killer wines. It's going to be a perfect day in the Russian River. Yeah, those are those are some cool, cool wines. In fact, we just got on that um, Day Trips um, magazine, which is done by Wine Weekly. Same person? Nope. Something new. All right. Sabrina Still says, do you have any sort of wisdom for someone who's bringing a new food and wine blog? Wow. So the question is, do you have any wisdom for somebody that's wanting to do a, a new wine and food blog? Wow. Yes, I, I do, actually. You know, I haven't launched one. There's a just over 18 months ago and, and struggled to get it ahead of the curve. There's a sure. lot of people that write about food and wine. Um, one, I think you have to find your niche that you're passionate about. Mm -hmm. It's very easy to write about things you're passionate about. Mm -hmm. And when you find yourself stonewalled, like I don't want to write, you're going down the wrong path. Mm -hmm. you, you've got to do things that come, because for all of us, this is not our day job. We do this after hours, we do it on airplanes, we do it right. you know, on lunch breaks. So you're giving up your personal time to do this and you need to pursue what's passionate. Um, second, commit to social media. I mean, I've, you know, I've done all my marketing through social media. Mm -hmm. You know, The blog has now got seven, 8,000 readers a month, 300,000 hits. But I was very persistent, you can't give up. You've got to always be, you know, putting your brand out there, mm -hmm. marketing it, using Facebook, using Twitter, talking to people, right? networking, and just be passionate about what you do. And that will come out, and people will naturally want to be a part of it. So the person that asked that question, um, tell us uh, if you're in wine country. Um, and, and, if you, and if you are uh, in, in this area here, this region here, stop into Cellars of Sonoma. And, uh, you know, we'll be happy to share stories. Those are things that you can write about. Lots of, lots of fun stuff. And I think writing, writing about food is brilliant. I mean, the thing I discovered about writing about wine, which is my passion, is it's a much smaller audience. Right. You know, food and wine paired together yeah. is, is much less intimidating to people yeah. um, and, and a much broader audience. So I think it's a, it's a brilliant focus. Yeah, and if you want, if you want to write about uh, an interesting food pairing, our, our friend Bacon Girl, um, she, I interviewed her, and she's, she paired up bacon with all these wines. It was amazing. Talk about a food and wine pairing. That's awesome. Bacon yeah. goes with everything. <laughs> He's the best, man. <laughs> I'm telling and, you. And you know, I'll offer, too, if you're passionate. I have guest writers on my blog all the time. You know, the good news is you'll get your, you know, you'll get your article out in front of seven, 8,000 people. If uh, you're passionate about something, you want to take a little stab at it, you know, contact me. I'm happy to let you guess right about it. That's cool. Well, there you go. You're already a member. That's perfect. Come on down, and <laughs> and we'll be happy to uh, uh, work with you. No problem at all. Andrew, do we have to take a, a break? All right. We're going to take a break. We're not going anywhere. We're just going to stop our recording.